you right here, dude. So they right hear you. Right don't here. like move your head too much. Okay. Yeah, don't right pick here. your I'm nose. Use my eyes. Okay. <coughs> I'll try not to do that. <laughs> At least they're not on right now, so you can yeah. go ahead and do it. <laughs> cool, cool. We're ready to go. Yep. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. This is awesome. Actually, I'm gonna listen. <coughs> But I'll be walking around too, so don't don't mind me. I'm okay. gonna take pictures. Do you request having both ears on? Is that kind of does depends, it matter? It depends on you, yeah. Okay. How you feel? I'll fill it out. I'll get an individual one of each one of you. <clears throat> oh man, that's crazy. Oh yeah, nice individual. There we go. Here, oh, one mine. without the glasses too. Good afternoon, this is Vincent Villafranca. If you reached the second installment of Keeping It Real Estate, I have some really great guests today from Suncrest Solar. Before, before we start with them, I want to talk to you about two really great listings that Coldwell Maker West has just listed. Uh, the first one is in the community of Paradise Hills. It's uh, 6178 Cumberland Street. It's a three bedroom, two bath. It's listed for $439,000. Uh, no HOAs, no mailers. It's available now and I can show that to you. Me, me or one of my teammates can show you the property this weekend. So you can always reach me directly at 619-972-8798. And the next great listing my company has listed is in the community of Sunbow in Chula Vista. The great thing about Sunbow, there is no homeowners association, but it's zoned for a really great school district, and the mailers are really, really low at about maybe $100, $150 a month. So those are two great listings that are available, and I can show you those to you this weekend or at your convenience. And you can always reach me, Vincent Villafranca, at Caldwell Maker West at 619-972-8798. I'm not sure how long you've been listening, but we had a, a song come up called Here Comes the Sun that introduced my show. And the reason why that's a great song for today is because we have a great company with us today called Suncrest Solar. And we have um, Suncrest Solar specializes in residential solar power for homes. They only do that. They don't do buildings. They specialize in residential. And that's probably the type of company that you want to use, you know, someone who's specializing in helping homeowners like yourself. Uh, today we have Travis Jones, the district manager. How are you today, Travis? I'm doing well, Vince. Hey, thank you so much for having us. Really appreciate it. No I've heard nothing but amazing things about you. That's awesome. And then we have business associate, associate Mike Torres. He also works for Suncrest, and he's the associate with the company. He does a great job as well. So um, first things first, Suncrest Solar, how did it start? You know, what exactly is it? What do they do? Yeah, so Suncrest Solar um, is a really, really actually cool story. They uh, started back on the East Coast, and um, there was some change in, in ownership and whatnot, and they brought it out here to the, to the West Coast, where we actually started in the Inland Empire. This was about um, two and a half years ago when we really started to take off. Um, when I came out here, we had, oh shoot, roughly uh, probably 20 employees, you know, 10 sales reps, and um, since then we've grown to, to over uh, 500 employees, and uh, it's just been a cool journey. Did you, you know, say 20 to 500 employees? Yeah, we had five. How long did that take? <laughs> that's incredible. That's that's some serious growth, right? It, it has been. No, it took about uh, two years. We had 500% growth in 2015 alone. Now, is it because, obviously, solar is gigantic now? It's pretty much just demand of your product? Is that pretty much what it was, you think? It is, and, and what we'll get into, obviously, on the show is what makes us so different. What right, you right. know, our program is very unique, and a lot of a lot of companies don't offer it. And if they do, they don't offer it like we do. And so, um, and so, uh, Mike, how long have you been with the company? You've been with the company for a while. Or? It's a funny story. And what is your function? It's a funny story, uh, Vincent. I started out as a skeptic client. It, oh, like yes, myself. Yes, 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 <laughs> like yourself. <laughs> yeah, then, I hear you. And it, just like they hear uh, here yeah. in the commercial, was a client. Sure. <laughs> now. I'm with the company helping one-on-one um, -on -one with um, Travis, trying to follow in some um, business. And I feel wow. really good about this company. Great. Because great. it's really helping out the residential um, aspect and doing good and doing our part as far as um, solar energy and um, energy efficiency. Now, now, regarding solar, you guys, do you think, I mean, that's pretty much 
the future. No matter what it is, that's the future. Everybody has to go solar in the next five, ten years. Everybody will be on solar. Do you think that's what's going to happen? So yet? there's a, there's actually an article online, and listeners, you can Google this. But um, San Diego is the eighth largest city in America. Exactly. Yeah. And they are the first city to have a um, actually have an agreement with, with the government to be 100% renewable energy in the next 20 years. So I mean, you're you're looking at, and you can pull it up online too. But you are having state mandates all over the country on what percentage each state needs to reach to be renewable energy. Obviously, California, one of the biggest, with thirty three percent. Right. But you know, you have other other states that are that are getting up there as well. So yes, it is it is the way of the future. No, for sure. Now, now remember, we were talking earlier. Um, the reason why everyone will probably be going solar is because I guess the SDG need they have this um, a tier system, right? Right. And uh, you showed me, I guess, a graph from 2001 to 2014 that the tiers, prices, or the more power you use, the higher you pay for solar, right? That's correct, yeah. There, there's, a, there's a tier structure that was at, it was at recently just four tiers. Right. They just cut it down to three. And what happens is, um, the hardest part about this job is educating people, right? Right. You use kilowatt hours. When you use power, they're called kilowatt hours. So if you leave lights on, the refrigerator, TV, it all uses kilowatt hours. Big one. Kilowatt means a thousand watts. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So so kilo is a thousand. So yeah, and and all these 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 you know for so non-engineer listeners. Exactly. <laughs> so you use these kilowatt hours. Now right. tier one of SDG&E, they give you roughly three hundred kilowatt hours. Right. And that's at that's at seventeen cents, which was which was just recently fifteen cents. It just jumped to seventeen. Mm -hmm. Tier two gives you another additional 100 kilowatt hours. That is at 20 cents, which recently recently jumped from um, 18 cents. Tier three is now anywhere from 38 to 41 cents, depending where you are in the state or in the area of Cal uh, San Diego. I apologize. And um, in tier three, they give you as much power as you need. So once you use those first hundred, that's the most expensive tier, though, huh? That's hey, that's that's the, that's the problem. Right, once right. you use these first 400 kilowatt hours, yeah. you jump into this third tier, yeah. and this third tier is you know they, they you can use as much as you need there and that that is why when people see a raise in their bill if they start yeah. using their electricity more they don't see their bill double they see it quadruple because not only are they using double the electricity their rate doubles yeah so it, it's a it's a double negative for for consumers and you know what's interesting about that in my household we have i think six tvs right or maybe seven i don't know <laughs> okay four <laughs> four are on like all the time my 11 year old leaves the lights on constantly um everybody has a smartphone Everybody's juice. Everybody's everybody's yep. on power, yep. and then now people are coming. People have electric cars, more power. Mm -hmm. uh, people are using AC, more power. People, heaters, more power. Just I mean, just power. We're we're a power hungry society. Exactly. Where we, it's, solar is a great way to leverage against these different tier systems. Yep. So, exactly. And right. what this does, and, and what solar does in general. Obviously, we'll jump into our program here in a minute, but whether whatever way you go about getting solar, solar gets you off these tiers. These tiers have been, yeah. you know, you're paying the man, and, and, you, and you can't avoid it. It's a monopoly, I'm right? The man. The man. man. <laughs> they, they I don't want to pay the man. The man hates me. No, hey, right? <laughs> the thing about it is that Suncrest, it's yeah. allowing you to go about your daily needs. Uh, uh, the daughters, they have, they have needs. You know, all the hair colors and everything. Guys, yeah. the boys. And... With so, uh, Suncrest Solar, you, you won't skip a beat. Just go ahead with your normal daily life, but you'll be paying less every month. You know, when you said daughters, okay, I have three, right? Uh, say each one uses a blow dryer. The blow dryer is 1,600 watts. It's like, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> 1,600 watts of power in that little thing. In I can see that it, meter spin. Yeah, so my power <laughs> bill is, is, is pretty insane these days. So that's why I'm glad that I hooked up with Mike and hooked up with Travis and then so for me because I need to learn about this because I know I'm going to do it I just don't know enough about it to pull the trigger yet so that's why they're here and that's why they're here to educate me as well as the people that are listening uh, solar power definitely is the way the way of the future but um regarding well let's go back a little bit again so you said your company started off with 20 employees right yeah uh, less than that I mean I'm saying when I came on we right. had roughly 20 employees I was around the 10th sales rep hired oh one more thing when you had yeah, the yeah. 20 employees and you were selling solar where did you get the funding to support all that? Because that's, that's big, yeah, gigantic, gigantic money. So who's supporting you guys with your company? So that's actually a great question. I'm glad you asked. So when we first started, we have a uh, we, we had a, an investment from Sorensen Capital. Sorensen Capital. And who are they? They are a private investment firm out of uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. Right. So they actually they, they jumped on board first and they said, hey, we love the program, we love the idea, we want to we, we we see value here, so we want to invest. After we got that investment, we really, really started to take off. Then we landed an investment with Tenasca. 
Tenasca. What is Tenasca? So, so Tenasca is a, um, Tenasca. they have multiple um, um, re, uh, avenues of business, but Tenasca right. is a capital management company. What is that? Is that means they, they manage money for, for, for mainly, people with uh, mainly and green electric. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So the future, they, they manage future, future money, I guess. Exactly. To help the environment. And they have a, they have a thick portfolio of projects and out of oh, all residential solar companies, they right. jumped in with us and invested a big lump sum of money for us to continue to do this. No, that's that's awesome. I mean, when you when you have a small a small company, I guess they they met you. I guess they believe in your technology, obviously. Correct. So then they want to support you and help you get involved on a larger scale. So we'll be going to a break in a few minutes, and when we come back, we're going to talk about uh, the equipment they use. Their equipment is state of the art, and there's a lot of things that their company uses that other companies don't. You know, the type of panels they use. If one panel goes out, you know, they have a lot of technology that they're going to talk about. So we'll be right back. Good job, guys. Are we okay? Yeah. So, so um, I'll uh, start start like a little a bit of the equipment. I'm going to pass it to no. you. I'm going to say, I'm going okay, right? to I'll, I'll say like a few things and then I'll go to you straight to you. Is that good cool? questions, is that too. Cool? Just, huh? yeah, good questions because okay. people that are listening okay. are probably having questions like that, too. Oh, yeah. No, I think this will be really good. Is that oh, yeah, recording? This is just recording. Yeah. Yeah, oh, just, it's recording. Thank you, guys. I've lost it. I didn't even know what I was doing. It's all good. It's recording. It's getting all your facial expressions. Let's see. In the stream, it should be working. It says it's on. So, yeah. Oh, we forgot to say how they can reach you. Well, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah, we got to do it a few For times. For sure, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Let's, let's do it right when we come back from commercial. Pass okay. it to me, and I'll say, hey, for those of you who have to get up um, but are interested, there's two ways you can reach us. Give them my phone number my email. Then, um... We'll go into the technology a little bit. I'm like, I'm going to pass this to Mike and let Mike right. discuss this for a minute. And then if you need to pass it back to me, that's fine. Right, yeah. So. Don't get too technical with the numbers and stuff. No, no. I mean, you did a lot of research. Any, I'm not going to yeah. do any numbers. Okay. I'm going to mention generally about uh, the equipment we deal with. Gotcha, gotcha. One minute. That's fun, man. I could get used to this. <laughs> you want your own show? Yeah. Shoot, how much does it cost? Uh, Free. Give me a claim. <laughs> I'll just to start looking because this would be this would be huge. Yeah. Oh my god. They're actually looking for a slot. Really? But um, they would definitely want real estate agents. Awesome. Yeah. Really. And it's it's escrow, so you'd give your real estate agent to him, escrow and title. Yeah, that's awesome. You give me yeah, that'd be huge. Do you have your card with you? Oh, yeah, of course. <coughs> We'll see if he's, I know he's looking mainly for a real estate, but we'll see. We'll see what he says. Thank you. Travis Jones. This is fun, huh? This is awesome, man. I'm enjoying this big time. How many people are listening right now? You can't. There's no, like... Good afternoon. We're back with Keeping It Real Estate. This is Vincent Villafranca, and I'm sitting here with Travis Jones and Mike Torres with Suncrest Solar, and we forgot to say how come they can reach you. If someone wants to get a quote on their solar, how can they reach you? Yeah, Travis. thank you, Vincent. Um, the best way to reach me is my cell phone. Um, that's 801-573-2417. We're going to start there, and depending on um, how many people reach out, we have a whole team of sales reps, obviously, that can assist them. Another good way to reach us um, is my email, and that is T is in Travis, J-O-N-E-S, T Jones at Suncrest solar.com so t jones at suncrestsolar.com or my cell phone number 801-573-2417 that's great that they can reach you monday to friday weekends all that and messages. my mom calls me on that phone 24 7 <laughs> tax all that okay yes, now sir. actually uh we're we're on the favorite part of the show because i'm sort of a closet techie and we're going to talk about technology and i know um there's different technologies different programs we want to talk about the technology that Sumper Solar uses regarding the panels. Um, can you elaborate on that, Mike? Sure. Um, as far as uh, what type of panels we use, we use two types. We have Trina and we have Q-Cell. Uh, Trina has been um, voted as internationally uh, number one and very reliable. <coughs> And also we use uh, Q-Cell. Q-Cell has German engineering behind it, but recently acquired by a Korean company that's been around for 60 years. So two types of panels or just two, the one type of panel? Two types of panels. There's uh -huh. actually, uh -huh. those are our two go-tos. There's right. actually several. We have multiple avenues and multiple um, connections with all kinds of solar manufacturers, but those are our two go-tos. How long does, like, I see, like, on my, on my, where I live, you know, I see these panels popping up, and I always wondered, like, to myself, you know, how long is that going to last? I mean, is that going to last five years? Is it going to crash? Is it going to be 20? 
Is it going to be there? How long do they typically last on a, on a normal install? So um, what's cool about our program, which of course we're going to touch on here in a minute, but we only get paid for the power that we give the homeowner. So right. we have a very strong incentive to make sure these things are producing at max efficiency all the time. Our, our systems will actually stay above 85% efficiency throughout a 20-year period. So they mm -hmm. are they are efficient. The technology is there. So um, they don't really degrade all that much even over the years. They How are they with the, with the weather and that sort of thing? Um, weather, weather has an impact. Now what yeah. we do is when we get these power bills and we go off to get you a quote, we send these into our engineers. And we, sure. have, we have electrical engineers looking at these things and uh, <clears throat> you know, array design artists that put these together, put these quotes together. And they take into account all kinds of stuff, weather being one of them. So that's great. So what it now I've got a question. I know in San Diego we don't have a lot of bad weather. I mean, what if like like hail? You yeah. know, a week out of the year, hail hits them. Do they crack or do they not crack or they? They're very durable. Very. So durable. hail could hit them. And, and what's cool is we actually yeah. insure, we warranty, and maintain everything at no cost to the homeowner. The um, only thing that we wouldn't insure against is, is their own negligence. You know, if they get on the roof and hit it with a hammer, that's kind of, you know. Well, what, if, what if it's like, like uh, Mother Nature? What if um, there's an earthquake and the house moves and a panel cracks? Is it, does it cover Completely that? Completely insured. So Completely. that's Mother Nature insured? Oh, yeah, 100%. But if, but, but if someone is like, what if someone lives on a golf course and what if a golf ball hits the panel? <laughs> no, it's 100%. Think of, any, think yep. of anything, so. And sure. Speaking about right. Mother Nature, yeah. not too long ago, Vincent, do you remember it was just windy and raining pretty hard? Yeah. 30, was it about 40, 40, yeah, two about, months ago, it was yeah. windy for well, like I three had, days straight. I had branches on top of mine. Yeah. And okay. I just checked my inverter and size at 100% efficiency. It's running perfectly. And plus, Suncrest is monitoring it. It's up to our benefit to make sure it's at 100% efficiency running. So we had that cold, crazy weather about a month and a half ago. Now we're sitting at 80 degrees. So San Diego is just an interesting place to live. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> so regarding the technology, now does anybody use those, that, those similar panels or we don't know? Or? Um, well, I'm sure there's companies out there that do. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, yes, they are. They're, they're, they're popular for their, um, for their efficiency and for their warranties. No, that's, that's excellent. So Sunker Solar, I'm looking here at your front brochure. It says, um, just like how mobile carriers sell like TVs, Get free phone satellite. They make money. Suncrest is patient with profits. So regarding SDG&E and Suncrest, how is the relationship between solar companies and SDG&E? Is it adversarial, or because <laughs> you're, you're basically taking their business, right? Correct. How, how does that work with them? Um, I work. They don't like you companies. They don't like solar. How does that work? <laughs> it's I always so, wondered about that. No, no, it's a great question. It, it's so so. I mean, I mean, the green energy is something that's coming regardless. So I think it's something they're they're adapting to. Sure. Um, I worked up in the Inland Empire, Fontana, Rancho Cucamonga uh -huh. area for a little while, and Southern California Edison was a little bit. They were a little bit more tight when it came to um, this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I, and when I say tight, I mean like they were. Uh, they did not like us calling in. They they were a little bit. M m more rude to us than, than SDG&E. SDG&E right. has been um, really, they've been easy to work with. Easy to work with. Now, with that said, they, they are SDG&E and some of the big utility companies, Southern California Edison, PG&E. They are definitely, you know, trying to reverse some of these laws and whatnot that are being passed because it is hurting their business. Yeah. But so nevertheless, it's that there are there are laws right now put in place that are grandfathering people in with green energy. That you know, if they sign up for green energy before certain dates, they are grandfathered into great things for the next twenty years. So, you know, there's there's there is stuff they can do. Obviously, they're very they're very big, powerful companies. But green energy is the wave of the future. So. Right. No, definitely. I, I highly agree there. Now, regarding your equipment, now, we talked about the panels, right? right? Maybe other companies may use similar panels or something like that. What about the other part of the technology? You said the inverters the and inverter. some other stuff? What it does, it trans, it basically converts uh, DC into workable AC. Right. And we, we use um, Solar Edge. Solar Edge is our inverter. Mm -hmm. um, that equipment right there with that technology is a very expensive piece of equipment, but it's very reliable. In fact, in GTA Magazine, it's rated within the top five. Mm -hmm. And so that speaks multitudes right there. So um, on the parts, you have the inverter, and then you have the panels. What else, what else is there? Another thing that uh, is technology that we use, a lot, of, a lot of companies don't use, is they're called optimizers. Optimizers are on the back of each panel, and what those uh -huh. do is those actually track the production of each panel. So if we run a production report for, right. for a customer who thinks maybe their system's not acting right, we can say, oh, well, these two panels are being shaded, they're not producing as much as they should, let's uh -huh. do what we can to get this production up. So we can actually monitor each individual panel. Yeah, you know what? I, I where I live, I was looking at some of the because some of the panels on top of the houses the other day, and some are like on this side of the sun, some are on this side. I guess the sun rises from east to west or west to east, or how does that work? East. 
I believe it rises on the east. So do you have panels like on one side and one on the other so it hits both sides of the sun? Or how, does that, how does that work? So what's really cool with Suncrest, something that Suncrest does a lot of other solar companies don't do, is <coughs> we will actually, for example, there's some big companies out there that will not install on north-facing roofs no matter what. Oh, why, why is that? Why is that? They're not, the panels aren't as efficient on north-facing roofs. And these companies want to put as few panels on as possible to get as, mo as much profit They're bang for the buck. They want it's all about profit. And yeah. when people yeah. are buying the system, they don't want to buy extra panels because when you buy extra panels, you're paying more money for the same amount it's of more power. hardware, yeah. With this program, we will actually install anywhere on the roof. So if you have a, if you have a south-facing front yard, right, mm -hmm. and a yes. north-facing backyard, but the homeowner does not want the solar panels in the front of the roof, we will pay that extra expense to put the panels on the back of the roof. Oh, so if, if a client may say, well, I don't like the way it looks because my front is sloping on this way. I don't want to see panels. You may work with them possibly for oh, cosmetic 100%. reasons. We've done it. We, we signed up okay. a customer the other day, and uh, they, uh, they're like, hey, we don't want on the front. And right. the front of the roof was facing south. And we're like, hey, we need to put them all on the back of the roof. And, you know, the company said done. That's, oh. just, that's how we operate. We, we do whatever we can to give us a competitive edge on our competitors. No, yeah, because I, I figure, like, I'll say, I'll say there are some companies that may be a little bit larger maybe. Mm -hmm. And so pretty much they may just say they call the shots. Well, that's the way it, that's the way it is for us to maximize our profit. So that's interesting how that works. Actually, we send, uh, Suncars will send the blueprint, blueprint for, your, for your blessing to make sure that's where you want your panels to be. Mm. And you could move them uh, however uh, you want them, just as long as they're more efficient. And yeah. As long as they meet like fire code and city right. regulations, right. obviously, yeah. That's interesting. Now, regarding the um, the panels, so they're in. You have the inverter. Is there any other technology? Any other technology that we need to know about, or is that pretty much it? Um, inverter panels, optimizers. Um, I mean, that, that's that's the main part of it. And what's what's cool is is that's what's so simple about our program, which I'm sure we'll jump into soon. Mm -hmm. But but we ensure warranty, maintain everything at no cost to the homeowner. So so. We take care of all of it. So, you know, folks that don't have time to really worry about all these different things, we monitor the system, we take care of it. So it, it's it's all taken care of on our end. But, yes, those are the three big ones that uh, that are definitely the most important. Now, uh, we have a few minutes left, but I want to talk about this. This is probably a pretty big subject. I mean, there's a lot of, regarding solar, there's a lot of uh, companies out there, we know this, and they're all selling different types of technology. Um, one is purchase, one is lease. I want is PPA. Correct. You know, from the old school way of thinking, when we hear lease, we think I'm leasing a car. So, so they're thinking, well, I'll keep this car for two years and we'll get rid of it. And typically because you want a brand new car, you want to show off a brand new car every two years. Now, I'm trying to think if, if people are thinking the same way, well, I don't want to lease this, I want to buy it. So they think buy. Well, I want to buy these panels, but then, but in order to get your money back, you have to stay in the house for 25 years. Right. And I think right. in San Diego, we move every seven or eight years so they may not get that bank for the buck mm -hmm. you know now your technologies well it's well not technology but your program is ppa power purchase agreement and how does how does that actually work and 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 how does it work at the end of the ppa agreement how does, how does what is it, does it differ between leasing and, and purchasing so why if what what really differentiates a ppa from a lease or a purchase is when you go to lease a solar system there's a few things that that mm -hmm. homeowners don't don't really take into, into account one, when you lease a solar system, you have a flat payment every single month. Just a great example, just like you leased a car. Right. Another thing with a lease is is you're gonna see it you're gonna see an increase every single year on, on your lease payment. And that's gonna increase every year. Meanwhile, oh, the system's gonna depreciate. So you're gonna get less power and pay more over time. Another big one is there's a lien on the property. So they actually place a lien on your well, on your lease property. there's a lien on the property. With most pro most lease most. programs, yes. Okay. Yes. Now, so if I go to sell the property, the lien has to be paid. Right. It, it, there's definitely, I, I'll be honest, uh, you, yeah, I'm not the real estate guy, right? Yeah, yeah. But there's definitely complications. It does make right. the home a little more difficult to sell. Now, uh, under PPA, your program, if, if I install solar and next year I want to sell the property, how does that work when I go to sell the property? Do they transfer it over to the new buyer, possibly? So or? that's what's so cool about the PPA. We just operate as a utility company. There is no lien on the property first. Mm -hmm. Second you only pay for the power the system gives you. So it's just like when we when we tailor fit the system to your home. So Vincent, let's say you use 8,000 kilowatt hours in a given year. Right. We're gonna make a system that gives you 8,500 kilowatt hours in a given year. So it's gonna give you what you're what you're currently using. Based so you, on what it said on my bill. You exactly. see this is what you're using and that's it. And so you're gonna pay a power bill just like you do now, right. except instead of paying your power to SDG&E on the tiers we were talking about earlier, mm -hmm. 40 cents a kilowatt hour, you're buying your power off of Suncrest, and we sell that power at 19 cents per kilowatt hour, and it never increases. 
So you're so you're talking nineteen cents and and it never goes up. And actually, I kind of fumbled over my words there. We sell our power for twenty cents. It's nineteen cents for anyone uh, for any um, people who mention this show when we go to sign them up. Oh, interesting. That's huge. I mean, that, like, what, what's the savings on that? It's between you know, it's it's a one I guess. right. And one penny differential doesn't seem like a lot, but you take one penny on every single kilowatt hour on every right. single month for twenty years. Yeah, they're, you're, they're, you're looking they're at some major there. savings. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting how that works. So regarding the PPA technology now. Oh, well, we didn't even get it to sell. If I go to sell the property, what happens? So if you go to sell the property, we operate as a utility company. So right. whoever moves they, in. They remove the panels? or no, they, no, just the power company, basically. No, we're a power company. So oh, okay. Whoever, okay. Yeah, so it's like if you were to sit by a home now without solar, you'd buy the power off sdg e correct? Does the new buyer have to sign a contract with they just they, they just They just take over what's remaining. So if you move in 10 years... They would have 10 years to buy power from Suncrest, which oh, to make okay. very clear, these PPAs are for 20 years. We lock in the power rates sure. for 20 years. We wish we could do longer, but 20 yeah. years is the longest we can do right now. Yeah, I uh, recently, um, I sold the property um, about two months ago, and then the new, the, the per current owner, he put solar in, in there. And then the new buyer had to sign a new contract with, it, yep, with a new... Like that. Oh, so you're, you're different. So I don't yeah. want to see the name of the company. It's, it's a really large company. Yeah. They have to send a new contract and get approved and all that stuff. That is so, not the yeah. case. If, if you move in, um, um, there, is a, there is a very um, laid-back credit approval, but if you're buying a home, you'll, you'll hit the You should approval. be able to make right. more mortgage payment and pay your power. Exactly. Or you so, can't live there. So when you move in, it's just like, exactly, you just pick. So if you have been buying power at 19 cents for 10 years and you sell your home in 10 years, well, that new homeowner moves in and just buys power at 19 cents for the next 10 years. And after 20 years, we'll, we'll explain here in a minute what happens then, but uh, that's simple. Now, with this other company, I, I actually sold a few houses with power. When I sold another property out here in San Miguel Ranch in the East Chula area, they had a new, a new contract with the other solar company, and they were getting their bill every month at, say, whatever, 125 bucks. And they said at the end of the year, there's some sort of, additional bill, like for excess or something like that? Is Does yours operate like that also? Great question. So what You're talking about, right? That little excess bill mm -hmm. they're talking And I don't know exactly how much it was. So so it looks like, yeah, we got to take a break here soon. Um, but to touch on this very briefly, what happens yeah. is solar can only produce so much power in a given year. Right. So if someone uses more power than what that solar system gives them, they're going to have an excess bill from the utility company. Right. But what's cool with our program is we can add as much power as a homeowner wants. So if the homeowner says, a client we signed up the other night, they said, well, hey, you know what? We have girls in the house, and, and we think we're going to use a little bit of extra power. I said, great, let's get you out of Impossible. No, <laughs> <Right? laughs> so, no, I, I said, hey, let's get you out of 113%. Let's right. add an extra two panels. Sure. And, and, and that's what's cool. That Yeah, their power bill goes up a tiny bit, but not near as much if they use an extra 13% with SDG. Or if they jumped up a tier 2, tier exactly. 3, tier 30. You know? hey, yeah, hey, I know what you mean. The more power you use, the more you save. Oh, okay. So, um, say, for example, if I ran the AC on all summer long, mm -hmm. Will I get a Nexus bill later, or is it just so? So if say say so, yeah. If you were one of the guys like, hey, I want to go solar, and you started running the air conditioning like, like in, crazy, like in August, and let's say you're like using a, a ton more power than you were using before, right? You just call me and say, hey, Travis, I'm getting some bills from SDG and E, jumping up in the second, and third tier. I'd say, hey, no problem. Let's come add more panels. We would add more oh, panels at absolutely no cost to you. Again, your power bill with us would go up slightly, but not near as much as it's going to by using SDG and E. Right. So, so either way, I'm hedged against higher tiers and all that stuff, and and I can let you know if we, we need more power or not. This is protection against the tiers. That's what this is. So, if say for example, if I have one family living here, and all of a sudden my cousin wants to live in my house for six months, and there's more power, I get to hey, Travis, come put another panel on there. No, we do. Something like Great that. Great question, but we there is a minimum. We add eight panels at a time. Okay, eight so panels, you, how much power is that anyway? It's a good amount. It's a, For the big users, not very much. For the small users, it's a good amount. So that's why when we sign people up originally, you know, we'll ask them. You know, we want to fill them out. Hey, do you want to use more electricity? If so, let us know now so we don't have to, you know, if we add eight at a time, it could be a little bit too much for you. So let's kind of get you started on the right foot. Okay, and we're going to come go to right to a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about my scenario. But first... Travis will let us know how we can reach him and how if you want to get solar, you can call him. How do they reach you, Travis? Again, 801-573-2417, 801-573-2417, or my email, tjones at suncrestsolar.com. Great. You can reach the Suncrest Solar Experts at that number. We'll be right back. Smooth. Travis. Smooth. This is what you good. normally do. It's good. I know. It's just like, it's like a meeting. I have high blood pressure now. <laughs> That's why he's like, oh, geez. yeah, that was that was smooth. Give I like that. That more. was a good. Give me something harder. So let's um, Vincent, do you want to go into um, like I have all these examples for homeowners right here. 
Oh yeah, I we have can like, do whatever you I want. I have I have the Hortons, the Dials, the Wilcoms, the Robles. Oh, that's Beverages. that's the name of you know Jeff Yeah, Wilcom? that's that, their last name. You know Jeff Wilcom from name. Sweetwater. Hmm. You know really? Well, was, uh, but like this shows their this shows their savings with nothing out of pocket. So yeah. I want I want to go into this and I go from the biggest bill six fourteen two ninety nine one seventy eight. Yeah, well, I think it's so. Can we get jump into that, and then I can even jump into yours if you want. Do I have notes on that one? Um, I sent, I emailed them to you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, check it out here. Uh, we can jump into yours too. Let's talk about the Hortons. How, how, how big is our house? Wondering. It's a big one. Let's let's jump in. Let's let's jump into all of them. So I want to give an example for every type of user out there because they have a six hundred fourteen power dollar power bill. Not everybody oh, has. Oh sure, no, no, you know that's what crazy. I mean. Yeah, so that's... we want to jump in. Thank you. Have a three hundred dollar power bill below it. One seventy eight below that. Let's talk about dial. Let's talk about all of them. Okay. Let's talk about all of them. So I want to give everybody an example. Don't get on this mic. No, we'll be quick. We'll be quick. Okay. We'll be quick. Well, you don't need a book. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Little things like that. What else do girls do a lot? Stuff. So, so the bill for six hundred dollars was that like some gigantic house? Or what was that? It's it's long story. Let's not touch on that too much. I have a son that he just was. It was a half business. There you go. For my defense. So Vincent. It was, One it was, um, they are partial business and we're not allowed to do businesses. We had some polls, some strings pulled for that one. So okay. let's just say a lot of people live there to okay. keep it simple because we don't do businesses at all. It's let's only residential. Dial. Okay. Well, I do want to hit all of them. I want to hit okay. all of them, but let's just, let's just hit on okay. a brief. I just want to give an example. This is what the numbers look like okay. if you're using That's this much power. You know what numbers. I mean? Actual numbers right there. Nice. You're not to edit that part on the video. Do you guys cut the brakes um, on the YouTube video you're gonna post? He can. Well, you're gonna need to because we're on the. I shouldn't have said that live on the camera, like because we don't do businesses and we can have you do some it? strings. But yeah, we can do that. Okay, so yeah, make sure we cut these brakes. I don't know how to do it, but we'll figure it out. For yeah, the last videos, it. did you send them over? Oh, yeah. It's us. Uh, go ahead. We'll talk later. Good afternoon. We're back with Keep It Real Estate. Vincent Villafranco, Realtor at Caldwell Banker West. If you want to buy or sell a property, you can reach me directly at 619-972-8798. I've been a realtor here for almost 15 years. I've done hundreds of loans, sold hundreds of houses, and I can show that to you when we meet in person, so you can always reach me anytime. I'm um, sitting here with Travis and Mike. They are the experts at Suncrest Solar, and we have a few scenarios that we're going to go over that actually helped homeowners like me and you uh, save money on their solar bill. Now, the first one is, uh, last name is Dial, right? So, so there's a few on here. Um, I, I was going to start with, I was going to give an example of sure. several different scenarios because, you know, not everybody no uses problem. the same amount of power, obviously. Yes. So these were all, um, these were all people, now keep in mind, these were ones, I think people that sign up through the show would probably get a better deal than this. But um, let's start with Horton. They sure. had a lot of people in the home. Their average bill, now we know most people's average bills aren't like this. So this is a little rare example, but we'll give a few. But their average bill was six hundred and fourteen dollars a month. Very, very big. That's a big bill. Big. Was bill. it like a lot of people, or just a lot of electronics in there, or what both. was the reason? So both. A lot of people, both? pool, you know, the whole nine yards. Some people have big power bills, but they had a six hundred forty. That's big. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we reduced that to three forty six without. It doesn't cost them a penny. Their savings in the first year was two thousand six hundred fifty seven. So you almost cut their bill in half. Just about. Right? Just about. Just about. And yeah, they're saving about twenty six hundred dollars in the first year, and over the next twenty years, um, this is a this is a very conservative number. San Diego.